story is going to be all about me. Watch the movie My Brilliant Career and you could be forgiven for missing that this subtle and steady drama is regarded as a landmark in Australian movie making. The reasons for this are many. Director Gillian Armstrong didn't necessarily set out to make a movie for women. That the movie was directed and produced by women and was written by a woman about a woman made my brilliant career a milestone, if not a first, for Australian filmmaking. We can't afford to keep you any longer. Stella Franklin wrote the semi-autobiographical account of a young girl's dream to become a writer in the late 1800s. Keep in mind, at the time, the only career that could be had by a woman was that of housewife, nanny or teacher. Even Franklin herself was convinced to publish the novel using one of her middle names, the masculine sounding Miles. Gillian Armstrong's film adaptation itself launched quite a few brilliant careers, as well as her own. Both Judy Davis and Sam Neill came to the attention of wider audiences. You're uh, new here, aren't you? My Brilliant Career is part of a brief yet prolific body of quality storytelling from the Australian movie industry that many would argue no longer exists today. Any movie that's made, quote, by women, about women, should really be immaterial to the quality or values of a movie. The fact that My Brilliant Career is a rare example of this, even in this day and age, makes it that much more special.